Hey YouTube, it's Haig here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to remove your recent browsed websites and your recently typed websites on your browser, on Google Chrome, and on your Google accounts. So, uh, what most people, uh, when they search up uh, something online, if they have Google Chrome or they have Gmail or they're signed into YouTube, Normally when you search something up, that's not going to only save it to the browser that you've logged into. All your computers that have, that you're signed into with your Google account, that history is going to still be, is going to be transferred to your phone. Because Google is like, Google accounts now store all your browser data in one, on, onto your Google account. So say you got a phone and you searched up something on your desktop, what you searched up is going to be in the research results on your uh on your phone or if you search on your phone it's going to be on Google Chrome on your computer everywhere that you're signed into on your Google account especially when you're going to other people's houses and you don't want to know what they you've searched for I don't know if people request me to to show you how to do this you search something up at, and you log into your Google account on their computer and then now their computer has whatever you've searched up for so I'm going to show you how to get rid of it all because it's all done but for your Google account, all right. So most people would just clear browser data that does not work. This is all sent for your link to your Google account. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So you open up your browser, and instead of going into Google Chrome and going into settings where you would normally clear your browser data, you want to head over to your Google account, sign into your Google account, all right, and you click right here. There's a little button here if you're on the Google. Click right here, and you're going to click My Account. Make sure your account is signed in. So if you're not signed into your Google account, sign into your Google account. All right. So I'm just going to sign into my Gmail account. Right, so I'm signed into my now that I'm signed into my Gmail account. In here you have the advanced manage your Google activity. Right here. We're under personal info and privacy. So manage your you, that's what you click on. And then in here, under active controls, we're gonna go to active controls. And here, include Google, you have the, uh, your web activity and stuff, right? Matt, you can, like, uh, your, your web and app activity. Save your search activity on apps and browsers and make searches faster. You can uncheck that. That way, when you search something up on one device, it won't, it won't show up on another one. You can, you can uncheck that. Click manage activity. And um, you, you, the searches by today, I think if you click up here, you can delete it. Delete your activity from May 10th. All right, that deletes it. Um, if you click down here, click act, sort, sort activity. All right, so delete by date. And you can change it to all time and all products delete that's going to go ahead and delete all the activity so now when you people now nobody can see what you've searched up for on your account i'm just going to back out a few windows you just need to pan around on here it's all in here location history so say you signed in to your location on your phone with your gps and somebody you went to someone else's house and signed into google chrome and signed into your gmail account on google chrome well now that person knows where you live knows where your location is and can track you down so you go to manage activity so you can see here all the locations that i've been to are marked in these dots and everybody can see where i've been they can explore wherever ever I've been. I'm just going to get rid of this. And all these red dots. Let's get rid of all that. It's got to. It's pretty simple. Right here. Recycling bin. 
So people can track you down if you were logged into their computer or on your Gmail account that easily. So right here, locate all location, delete all location history. There's a bin here, and delete it right here, and then it's gone. And I'm then back out, back out again, and location history. Turn that off. All right, now nobody can track your location. And then for your apps and your contacts, your voice and your audio. Now this is if you get to, if you're on your phone or you're on a Google or you like to use your voice to do a Google search over if you like to talk into your phone to search something up online, don't shut this off because that's what it's for. Or if, if I mean most, I just type when I do a Google search, so I really don't really use the feature. So you can turn it off or on, if you if you wish. But that's the basics, and that's how you get rid of it. So now your YouTube watch history and all that, you can see it's all in here. If you don't want to see what your people, if you don't want people to watch what you've just searched up on YouTube, and you went to their place and you signed into YouTube on your account, or you signed into your Gmail account on their computer. Or say you've signed in to your, yeah, the account. Now they can sign in and w see what you've watched. So you can shut that off. And then you can, and that will, sh and click pause. Now nobody can see that information. YouTube search history. It's all in here. That's how you do it. All right. Now that's how you also prevent people from tracking you down. I mean, people are concerned about privacy. And, uh, this is, this, I mean, I don't know why. It's honestly, you're really not an important to most people but for there's people that are just paranoid with these kinds of things so i'm making this video so they can see how to shut this all down so people can't track you okay thanks for watching my video remember to comment right and subscribe